Thank you for waking us up again to see the beauty of another day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you for connecting with us. Thank you for connecting with us. By the grace of God, glorious morning shower is now live on Miss Ella radio station and it's called Instrumentary Radio Network. So you can download the application, it's called Miss Ella. It's like FM station. The message we are doing 10, 10 minutes here is going on for 15, 30 minutes there. So you can also connect with us live so that you can get some other prophetic declaration. Because of time constraint, we may not be able to discharge everything we need to do here. Like I told us, we are coming on on other platform. This is another platform. Today on Glorious Morning Shower, the Lord said we should bring to you a very sensitive message today. You see, there is a ganging up going on right now. There is a ganging up going on right now. And why I say today is special is because few days ago, the Lord showed me another revelation like he showed me the other time where I saw myself in a place and there were people, faces that I don't know around me and I was looking very strange among them. It's like they were having a meeting but it was not a good meeting. And I saw myself looking at them and they were also looking at me strange that what is this one doing here? But they couldn't do anything. Yet they continue having that evil meeting, evil plan. Then the Holy Spirit just dropped in me. He said, rebuke them now. And it happened that I began to rebuke them in the name of Jesus. And to my surprise, they were falling down. Those that were, some ran away. I would look at their face, point and say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And so they were, I spoiled that meeting. And when I woke up from that revelation, I said, God, what's going on? And the Lord told me, he said, there is a ganging up against you now. And when I prayed about it, to make sure that thing doesn't happen in real life, the Lord put in my spirit to put it on the platform to share with somebody. Say, there is a ganging up against you right now and this ganging up is going on at the corridor where you don't have access to i was privileged by mercy to be there god permitted it so that i could know i didn't know that that going on was against me but I knew that that meeting was evil. And I now ask myself, what am I doing here among these evil people? And the Lord put in my spirit there. You see, the way I saw them, nothing on earth could have made me to confront them. I look very fearful. But when you drop it in my spirit, he said, rebuke them. Then the lion in me woke up. I couldn't fear again, and to my surprise, every one of them that I pointed at, I said, I rebuke you, fell down. 
But there is a message God says I should give you from this place. He says, I should tell you, no gang up against you will succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what is coming against you from your village. I don't know what they saw about you. I don't know what you, you have started doing that has angered some people and they are now waking up against you. But child of God, relax your mind. The battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord. And that is why the message came. He speaks to one, he also speaks to all. In the book of Numbers chapter 23 verse 23, he said, there is no divination against Jacob, no evil omen against Israel will stand. So, any form of divination at any corridor against your life, against your business, against your family, against your destiny, against your ministry, under God today, it shall not stand in Jesus' name. I want you to say a very big amen to that prayer. Then it is your portion. It will stand against you. Again, in the book of Isaiah chapter 54, verse 15, it said, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather against you shall fall for your sake. Can't you say amen again? A very big amen. Whosoever that shall gather against you at any corridor, they shall fall for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus. One more time, finally, in the book of Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9. These scriptures are coming to you like arrow, arrow. These are mighty, powerful arrow that the Lord say we should use to dispel every ganging up, every, every plan, imagination, every enchantment, every divination. This is the arrow that God say we should use today to bring them down. And they are going down for your sake, the way I saw them in that revelation in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9. He said, Associate yourself together, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Give ear, all ye of the far country, and ye shall be broken. Speak a word, and it shall not come to pass. Every spoken word against you, against your destiny, against your life at a corridor that you don't have access to. Because the Spirit of God has access to that corridor, we are now launching to that corridor that in the name of Jesus, that ganging up against that your matter, that ganging up is hereby frustrated, is hereby broken, is hereby destroyed, and that spoken word shall not stand in Jesus' mighty name. That's your portion today. So don't be afraid of that ganging up. The Lord revealed it and the Lord commanded that we should attend to it with these arrows. Go by this. Don't forget it. Numbers 23, 23. Isaiah 54, 15. Isaiah 8, 9. That is your portion. And any other scripture that the Lord drop in your spirit, Please use it as a weapon today to dispel every arrow of the enemy against your life in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. It's a new day for you on Glorious Morning Shower and I believe you are coming back this evening with testimony of dispelling dangle in Jesus' name. Even in that your office, you will see them falling down for you. In that office, they will come to confess that of a truth, the Lord must be with you. In Jesus' mighty name.